Hi, um, I'm Ruth and I've been asked by Will and Matt to just share with you a little bit about King's Tots and lead you in a, a bit of a prayer time uh, around King's Tots for to this week. So if you don't know, King's Tots is our weekly group that we run as a church uh, to serve the community. We It's for children aged zero to four, so before they go to school and their carers or parents to come to. It's, no, it's a stay in place so their parents and carers stay with them. The session that we run is free of charge and we provide refreshments and activities and um, hopefully lots of fun. We, the, the kind of vision for King's Tots is that we provide a, a safe, fun, free, friendly environment for parents and carers to bring their children to. Um, we know that having young children at home can be quite isolating, it can be quite lonely um, and what we want to do is we want to provide a place where people can come and chat with other parents um, but also chat with people like myself and others on the team who don't have children that are that young at the moment um, anymore and we, um, we can maybe just really encourage people, sit alongside people hopefully have the opportunity to pray with people. So that is the kind of vision for the group, that we provide this space where people can come with their children, but ultimately that they um, can link up with others, they can chat, have some adult conversations, um, get a bit of encouragement, feel loved, feel welcomed, feel known for who they are themselves. Um, for those of you that don't know, we used to meet until the summer just gone we met in St Andrew's Hall in Aylston and now we have moved to Manor House to join with all the other activities that are running out of Manor House and the other community things that we have done there and are doing there as a church and we just really felt like that was a great opportunity to link in with some of the other things so we're hoping maybe some families that use food bank may also want to come and use King's Tots uh, we're hoping that some, again, we can link in with some of the other families that are using that venue. Um, and also, we just really felt that it was a great opportunity as a team to get support um, from the kind of, the, the team that are already based at Manor. Uh, we're quite a small team that run and we were just struggling some weeks to find um, the right number of people to be there. So this just really takes the pressure off. Um, and it just means that we have access to all of our resources and equipment throughout the week. Um, because then they can be used uh, with lots of different different activities. So we're hoping it's a good move. Unfortunately, what we found is that not everybody that joined us um, at St Andrews has kind of moved with us to Manor, which I guess was always going to happen. It's a little bit further away and for people that walk, it's maybe too far for them to come every week. Um, so we are now hoping to grow a new kind of group, core group of people that will come uh, on a regular basis to King's Tots. Um, so in terms of prayer, what I'm going to do is if I just kind of give you some prayer points and then maybe at the end of each prayer point you could press pause and just spend some time chatting to God and just uh, bearing King's Tots in mind in your prayer, that would be so appreciated. Thank you so much. So like I mentioned, we really, first point, we really want people to, in, to get to know Jesus. We want the opportunity to introduce more people to Jesus, to share our own stories, our own experiences with them, but also um, to pray with people and to see God break into people's lives supernaturally with um, incredible solutions or healing or an or provision of some description and so if yeah we want to we want to pray for courage to take the opportunities for opportunities to um to increase and for people to start asking us lots of questions about about god about the bible um so yeah if so opportunities to share jesus and to introduce people to the person of Jesus on a Tuesday at King's Tots. Okay, so point two, uh, prayer point two, is we, um, as we kind of settled into our new venue, it's a great opportunity to think about what we offer each week. Um, and I would love for God's 
creativity to inspire us um, in terms of what we offer and how we could offer God-centered activities. In St Andrew's Hall, we used to have a little connect corner, which was an opportunity to to come and read a story about God or uh, about Jesus um, and with their children and to do an activity related to things like I am loved, um, sort of I am known by G by God, that sort of thing. So I'm not sure how that's going to work in our new venue um, in terms of space. So those that kind of links in with another point in terms of using our venue uh, to the best of its ability. So wisdom about what we how we can manage that and amongst all of those things is time so um so what we need is god inspired creativity wisdom to use our space and um kind of just godly ability to manage time well to make all these things happen with with a limited amount of time that we have available to us We would really, really love to be able to gather just the right number of people. Um, so we would like a group um, each week where there's a buzz. When you go along to these kinds of groups, you want to be taking your children along to a group where they can play with other children, where there's a little bit of a buzz, where there's things happening, there's other parents and carers to talk to. So we really want to create that buzz, but we also are really conscious that the space at Manor is a bit different. Um, some of it requires us to, you know, to get more people in. We'd need to use a bit of the outside space. So we just need just a kind of gradual um, group growing would be amazing. So that so that we don't end up with l like an overcrowding. In the past, people have been worried when there's been almost too many people. I think it's a post COVID concern that you know a large group of people suddenly makes makes people panic a little bit. So what we'd love is just like an easing into more of gathering a greater group of people, a core group of people that we can kind of get to know really well and that um, that we can start to build relationships with and start to show them a, a, a bit more about Jesus and then introduce them a bit to Jesus. So that would be perfect if we could just be starting to gather And then the kind of final point um, to pray for is just that King's Tots will fit in really well, with the other activities that are being run from Manor, the other outreach stuff, the other community-based activities, that it will be a great link for families with young children that maybe make use of the other things that go on at Manor um, and that it will serve that community really well in a slightly different way. Um, and that, yeah, it will just give it time really to get to know those families in a different way um, and we can serve them in a different way. We can we can spend more time maybe with them because there'll be a smaller group of people. So what we'd really like to do is, yeah, be able to almost be linking in with some of those families that are already hearing a bit about um, Jesus, seeing God as a provider because God is providing for them through his people. But also this way that actually they are known, they are loved, they are welcomed. Um, and, and this is this is like the person that welcomes you the most is Jesus. So that's what we'd love uh, for, Ki for King's Tots to be. So thank you so much for, um, for joining with us. If you, um, if you know of anyone that would be interested in King's Tots, please do feel free to invite them along um, and feel free to ask me for more information. If you are not sure, we'd love to be able to welcome more people to King's Tots and be able to really serve you as you seek to, um, to chat with your own friends and your own colleagues and your own neighbours, uh, some of whom may have small children. So we'd love uh, to see people coming along who maybe know members of our church and have heard about um, King's Tots through our church family. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you um, so much, church family. We really appreciate it.